Let's, uh, this copic brush is pretty alright. There's some loose things like I can draw on this side, but if I try to draw on this side, it's a little bothersome. Like, I like drawing on here, but drawing like this is a pain. I wonder. Like, maybe I could, uh, modify the angle. Let's see. Brush tip. I want like the thin parts to be up, like where my at. Uh, I want, yeah, I want more like this, cause you know usually, cause usually when I'm painting on markers, I will do stuff like this to get the lighter blend. I'll press down let go and that's like using the alcohol to make blends and Copic markers really don't do well they it doesn't do what I really want it to do but I do like this angle so if I uh I could put the tip. The aliasing brush size. Crank you a little bit. Yeah, here I am constantly like staring at my brush size, kind of just seeing what's up. Ink. Capacity. This should actually be like more defaults. And I should have more. Yeah, I should have stronger flow as I go. Let's see, color jitter. Anti-aliasing, brush shape, brush dip spraying effect. Not a slight spray. No. Because I want the spraying effect to be out at the tip. Kinda. Oh, I can't even mess with that. Dual brush. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do dual brush. I can't do spraying effect without the dual brush. Okay. Ending. I want to at least have an ending. Or it ends like this. I'm doing my best to kind of just figure out like starting and ending my speed because again I'm trying to do this uh, usually I will blend it's a certain way that I usually blend and when I use Copic markers like in real life the way I use them is that and I should probably like zoom in for this the way I use Copic markers I can probably just zoom in a little bit more kind of, let's see if I can't find some paper are you blank no you got writing <laughs> work. so 
The way I usually uh, use po uh, the way I use uh, Copic markers is uh, let me see if I can't bring you. Oh. Maybe I can take it closer, and hopefully this will be slightly better here. So the way I usually have my uh, Copic markers is I'll have it like this, and that has a nice flat line. The further I have my uh, angle up, the thinner the line will look. So, thin line, and when it's at the side, it looks slightly thicker. So, probably would usually have the marker rotated like this. But I also will do things like this where it will blend or at least fade out on the side while still uh, I still have my consistent color that's usually how I usually blend I have just multiple strokes where I will blend it's a nice way to kind of just get a nice fluffy line that's usually just how I do most of my uh, Copic stuff when blending, like obviously I use things like a, uh, like a, you know, an alcohol marker uh, blender and things like that. And basically, let's see, I am, I've completely borked my webcam, so, ugh. Hopefully that works. And I've never been able to get my markers in digital art to feel as correct as how I usually draw traditionally. And I've yet to figure out the right brush settings that could make my markers just feel remotely close to how I draw in general. And obviously, you know, dig the digital beating him, it's completely different. It's not exactly digital art. No, it's not one-to-one. -one. It's not supposed to be one-to-one. -one. And all my uh, music stopped. I didn't even know that because I'm wearing my freaking headphones. That's not like you care. But yeah, um, basically, long story short, I have a hard time doing traditional art. And... I'm still just constantly clinging on digital art or clinging on traditional art because there's just so much things that I can do in traditional art that I still have yet to figure out digitally. So that's kind of just been my personal beef with, you know, just drawing on the screen 